individuals. I, I, I think particularly in a society like the one we have in the United States, we are a nation of immigrants. And, you know, I was talking to some school kids this morning, giving a talk to high school kids who had migrated here. You know, their parents had come here from all over the world. We had kids from Sri Lanka. We had kids from Korea. We had kids from Hong Kong, you know, all over the planet, Puerto Rico. And everybody has kind of a vague notion that they're a hyphenated American. I'm African American. I'm Irish American, whatever it might be. And beyond that, they don't know that much about their ancestry. And so I think there's a real desire, particularly in places like the U.S., nations of immigrants, to connect with the past, to connect with the ancestral homeland. And so I think that's why individuals, at least in part, are interested in, in testing their DNA, because it allows you to go back beyond traditional genealogy and get into the kind of deep aspects of your ancestry, where, where you're really deeply connected to around the globe. Scientifically, you know, this is an effort to answer a key philosophical question. I mean, it's something philosophers and people who study religions and, you know, thinkers in general have been pondering for years, for millennia. You know, where do we all come from? How do we relate to each other? Why do we speak different languages? All of these basic things. And, uh, you know, now we have the tools of science that can actually start to chip away at that and answer some of these questions. You know, as I tell the story, um, I, it is interesting to see people's reactions. Um, particularly the idea that we're all still living in a small African family 60,000 years ago. That's only 2,000 human generations. I mean, that's a very close degree of relationship or degree of separation among everybody alive today. The idea that we're all cousins separated by no more than 2,000 generations. And you see this light go on in people's heads. And they sometimes gasp and go, wow, that's, that's amazing. I mean, I think inherently, most human beings looking around at this incredible, dizzying, baroque diversity that humans e exhibit all over the world, the languages and the skin colors and hair types and morphologies, you know, I think the knee-jerk reaction would be, God, we must have been diverging for millions of years. And that's what physical anthropologists thought until quite recently. And so the genetic results really kind of toss that out and they say, no, you know, all of that is literally just skin deep. And when people really take that on board and they realize that underneath the skin, we're all effectively members of this small African family, I think it sometimes boggles their mind. And that's, you know, that, that's one of the great things that I get to do as a scientist is to go out and tell this story to people. And, you know, obviously the details of how we made the, the migratory journeys and all these other things, that's, that's really cool stuff. But this, this underlying theme of similarity, near identity, um, you know, battling adversity, coming back from a near extinction event as a family, that's, that's the, the take home message and that's the thing that really gets people excited and really kind of blows their minds and it's, it's amazing to see it happen.